Testing new technology in a hospital setting can be a complex and challenging process to ensure it doesn't harm patients or disrupt clinical practices. That's where the Tech Hub comes in. At Houston Methodist Hospital, it serves as a center for research, development, and testing of healthcare technologies and innovations. We met with Mira Erlken, director of the Center for Innovation, to see firsthand what's special about this space and why its approach is innovative in itself. Uh, this is our digital uh, innovation uh, lab. It's a living laboratory, meaning we also work here as well, so it's not just a showcase mm -hmm. area, but we do testing here. We test new technologies, new setups, new uh, configurations. When we have a hub like this in the hospital, when people have questions, we can bring them up. When nurses, clinicians, uh, executives have questions, we can bring them up. And instead of trying to explain that on paper or on a PowerPoint, we can actually show and showcase technology. In our hospital room of the future, uh, we showcase uh, technologies and we, we start working on technologies where we uh, bring care, comfort, and convenience uh, to, uh, to our patients. So we deployed a lot of these uh, tablets to our patients so they can uh, interact and do entertainment, but also they can have some room requests as well. So I can request multiple things, of course. I, can, uh, I will always have my uh, nurse call device, but I requested a blanket and water uh, and maybe, uh, maybe something to snack at every, uh, every time. It warns me to not leave the uh, bed because we want to prevent falls. This is a laboratory, so we try different things, we try different technologies, we try different cameras, see how they react, how they mount. They're co continuously monitoring, but they're not continuously watching. This uses AI uh, to watch uh, and monitor the patient. We're working on falls monitoring, whether there's a fall risk or not. Uh, pressure ulcers, which is uh, an important factor, whether the patient has been turned or if, are they turning uh, appropriately? Are we rounding on the patients hourly? That's one of the important safety me uh, metrics uh, that we measure. But also we can monitor things like cleaning. When the patient is just discharged, they're not in the room, are we cleaning the appropriate surfaces for appropriate time? So it's very difficult to do in the actual patient unit. Sure because it would be interrupting. No matter how small your pilot is, it would actually interrupt your care. Um, and then of course we try different things like, um, like a cart. Um, that would be more for the ED situation. We have a robust uh, tele, uh, neurology tele, telestroke program. So you can roll in uh, this cart to an uh, emergency yeah. uh, room and then basically the uh, physician remote in. Not everybody wants to use a tablet or their own device, so we're bringing uh, basically the same conveniences to their TVs as well. Uh, we welcome them, uh, we give them the ability to uh, connect to their care, uh, we explain their care options, but they can also order meals. This also doubles as a, as a digital whiteboard. You have a lot of innovation going on yeah. here all around me. Yes. What do you find is the most fascinating or maybe the most cool innovation that you've seen over the so, last few years? If I, if I think about this space, and it's very difficult for me to pick one thing, but I have to say it's the tech hub itself because we genuinely created an ecosystem here. We run our own network. We have people who come in and work from here. Uh, we have our um, partners from the organization who's not necessarily part of Center for Innovation that works out of here. This ecosystem has been really valuable for us. Mm -hmm. Um, and that's probably the thing that I'm most proud of, it's the foundation. Mm -hmm.